Howdy, folks. I'm a weird walnut wriggling with wonderful whiskers. I'm Amber. And here's some more wonderful whiskers. Lots of whiskers. That's better than what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Worms, like wriggling with worms or something. Oh, you know, I missed the W word. That could have been a cool one. I could have wiggled, wiggled with worms. <laughs> All right, folks, we've got a few good letters here for you today. And our first one is titled, Am I a jerk for cussing out my neighbor after he came to check up on me? I really need some help on this one. I'm a 21-year-old female, and I've been living in my apartment building for a few years now. A month or so ago, I got a neighbor, Mark a 29-year-old male. At first, I was very excited and viewed him as a friend since I have been all alone on my floor. But now, I just feel awful living there. Mark would come over to my place unannounced many times and ring the bell for multiple minutes or so. Sometimes I was busy showering during these moments, sometimes I wasn't even home, and he would ring my doorbell and bang against my door. I have a digital alarm slash camera system which records whoever rings on my door. If I asked him why he did that and something happened, he just replied that he wanted to see me. Alright, not so bad. Eventually, Mark began leaving his door open all day long. His couch was almost right away towards the door. He could therefore always tell when I was leaving and coming back. At first, I believed that he just wanted some air to come through, but no, that wasn't the case. Whenever I opened my own door to leave or come back inside, he would rush into the hallway to talk to me. When I bring out the trash, he follows me. When I do my laundry, he suddenly is there too. Whenever I go shopping, he suddenly has to go shopping at the exact same supermarket let alone the fact that he always gets very touchy and tries to hug me or hold my hand whenever we meet. I was very uncomfortable and decided to let him know that I didn't want to continue our friendship if he acted this way. He seemed puzzled but apologized. He said that he was very thankful for how I welcomed him and how I helped him settle in, that he probably got a bit too excited. With that, me and Mark didn't talk for a while except for the occasional hello and bye, if we crossed paths. I was hopeful that things would be normal again, but no, last night I was doing my laundry in the community washroom. I took around 20 to 30 minutes since I had a lot of laundry. When I came back upstairs, I saw that my light in my apartment was on, and I was certain that I didn't have it on when I left. That's a big shocker. I unlocked my door and suddenly, Mark stands in my apartment looking around. I got so freaked out that I screamed. Apparently, I didn't properly close the door and Mark ended up somehow seeing. He was peeking? I don't know. Anyhow, he decided to go inside and check if everything was okay. I ended up losing it and calling him all the names in the book. Creep, disgusting, a stalker. I threw him out of my apartment and that was that for now. I told my friends about the incident, but they ended up calling me sensitive and just being scared of men, since he was trying to be nice. I really don't know how to feel. Alright folks, what do you think, jerk or not the jerk, or also an alternative answer, search for cameras in your house. Yeah, I'm gonna go with not the jerk, OP. You also need new friends. like. This is inexcusable. His explanation doesn't even make sense because if he was watching and saw you closed your door improperly, he would have seen that you left to go to the laundry room and there was nothing to check up on you for. This guy is snooping. Mm -hmm. He is intentionally trying to do something like it's not entirely clear. Brian could be right about hidden cameras or he could be trying to like make you his girlfriend or oh, any definitely number. he's trying to make her his girlfriend right like he's trying to like he i don't know like i don't know what's going through his head why he thinks crowding her like this not giving her any space is going to suddenly make her endeared to him yeah like being stalked that's just that's exactly what every girl dreams of yeah that's that is the <laughs> dream from what i understand no, like this. So it's it's beyond creepy. It is beyond inappropriate, and uh, you didn't do anything wrong because he should not have been there. Like 
the fact that he just thinks it's okay to come into your he seems to have no regard for you your comfort at all like yeah or your boundaries or anything like he knows you don't just randomly walk into people's houses like that's something you're taught when you're young and like well i mean in a lot of video games to be fair <laughs> you just randomly walk into any houses that you want maybe he just has only grown up in video game worlds and that's just normal from where he's from you know i don't buy it you know and so like this guy i would re potentially report him to like the housing place if you feel comfortable doing that because i do not trust him not to escalate things further go into your house again and like i'm afraid of what happens if he gets angry with you i am i'm worried about that as well i definitely think op needs to probably make a police report about this and they can then give him a no trespassing notice and that if he comes over to your place again that's trespassing or something to that effect and they will send the hopefully send the message to him that this isn't okay and that he needs to leave you alone and hopefully i don't know like i like amber was saying with that she can also bring that to the housing place and say look i have a no trespassing thing on this guy he's him broken into my apartment and that's was just going too far here because that's what this is this is breaking and entering mm -hmm. like it doesn't matter if you leave your door open people are still not legally allowed to enter your residence yeah so he's trespassing breaking and entering he may have even left cameras i mean i don't want to like over paranoid people but i mean like what else was he doing in there other than snooping around like he know knew that she wasn't home yeah he was definitely doing something and, and like he may not be as nefarious as hiding cameras but he might be like snooping to learn more information about op to like better stalk her mm -hmm. or you know those sort of things so there's there's not a good and there's no good explanation there's no nothing that's going to paint him in a good light yeah my theory is that he keeps an eye on her he knows her habits he knows about how long it's going to take her to do her laundry and he thought he had plenty of time to do whatever he was going to do inside of her apartment and he didn't anticipate that she was going to get back as soon and that's why he ended up in the apartment and he just used this excuse of oh i was checking up on you as a way to kind of deflect some of the maybe anger of the situation mm -hmm. So yeah, no, OP, you're not a jerk. This guy is a real creep. And anyone who tells you otherwise, like, do not be friends with them because this is totally justified. Do not want strange people hanging around your house. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And the Holiday Armadillo 3 says, not the jerk, this guy could turn dangerous. And I'm surprised your friends didn't see your side of it. And OP replies, I was rather surprised too, since I have always been more on the shy side and haven't really got into dating yet. They told me that I was probably exaggerating and that he was just trying to be nice. I still feel pretty left alone. Um, I don't know how breaking and entering is trying to be nice. No, there's nothing nice about it. This guy is not trying to be nice. He is being a creep. Yeah, like he could knock on your door, but he's kept an eye on you. I mean, this just the whole thing is just so gross and creepy. It really is. And Tired and Short says, you need to call the building management now and get him kicked out. Does this count as breaking and entering? I would call the police, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's breaking and entering. I, I mean, it's at least unlawful entry. Mm -hmm. And Special Attitude 242 says, not the jerk, you have a stalker record when he does these things because it sounds like you might need a restraining order he could do some bad things to you for all you know get a friend or other neighbor to do laundry with you also report this guy to your building super speaking of creepy guys <laughs> our next letter is titled am i a jerk for taking the longer route to spend more time with her I'm a 19 year old male and I work a full time job in the tech industry. My role is 100% remote, so I rarely have a reason to go outside. However, after recording data on my personal life, I concluded that my social life was in a poor state. You can't just like observe the fact that you're not hanging out with people <laughs> and come to the same conclusion. <laughs> I'm I mean sorry. The scientific, scientific method works. As a result, I decided to pursue hobbies that would allow me to befriend people my age, and I met a woman. One such hobby led me to connect with a group of physically active young adults. I was instantly taken by a woman, a 22-year-old female, Amaria, in the group. She was slim, with a small waist, and perfectly round... <laughs> 
talk about relevant information. Uh, how is this relevant, OP? The cherry on top is her face. Her sense of humor is rather childish, but I was still fascinated. Do we have to read this? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read this one yet. <clears throat> one morning, the six of us were hiking together, and we decided to hold a mini competition. We'd go off into three different pairs and choose different routes to complete the trail. Whichever pair completed the trail first would be crowned the winner. I knew the route well, as I had studied the area the night before. However, Ameria wasn't familiar with the trail at all. I volunteered to be her guide and companion for the competition. Our only aid were physical maps. As soon as we embarked on the journey, I decided that it would prove fruitful to seize this opportunity to get to know her. I purposely chose a long, complex detour so that we could spend more time together. At the start, we made great conversation and I found out a lot about her. Okay, so you're going to impress her with your skills by taking longer. <laughs> great idea. However, as time went by, she grew more frustrated. She kept looking at the map and insisted that we were going the wrong way. I told her that the maps were not accurate as they don't account for path closures and other factors. This was not the truth. <sighs> After a while, she grew more stressed and claimed that she needed to use the bathroom. We did find a place that she could relieve herself and this seemed to have given her some peace. After about six hours, the trail itself was roughly three hours, we started making our way back. Amaria had already communicated with the group and been accusing me of taking unnecessary detours. I simply pointed out her desirable physical features and the impact that they have on me. I thought that she would be pleased to hear these comments, but she was not. This is like <laughs> the worst reading ever. She told me to stop describing her at all and that she doesn't want to hear about my biological responses. She did not speak for me to me for the rest of the journey. I've since been kicked out of the group. In fact, everyone in the group has labeled me all sorts of things. Amaria has described me as selfish, weird jerk and asked me to stay far away from her. I suspect these feelings are temporary no. <laughs> and born out of confusion more than anything. No. no. Am I the jerk for attempting to nurture our connection with the landscape, serving as a beautiful backdrop to what could have been? Or should I have not used the particular activity to carry out my plan? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Oh my goodness. Yes, OP, you are the jerk. If I were Amira, I would be like, Oh my goodness, I am dead. This dude is mur Cause like a three hour trail taking six hours. Like I'd be like, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know why this guy thought that this was going to be at all an acceptable thing to do. Well, like this is just so weird and creepy. And it's not like it's a five minute trail. Like three hours should be plenty of time to get to know someone. Yeah. Like six hours guy come on three you said that you were going to be her guide she trusted you to lead her along the right path you took advantage of that trust and you broke her trust by making it take twice as long and it sounds like she was fine with it at the beginning and maybe if you hadn't taken the whole three hour trip you could have endeared yourself towards her i'm glad you she didn't but i mean that that's kind of like you you had a choice you could have done the right thing here and just done the trail and actually had the competition and maybe she should would have been happy if you two had won this competition together yeah well and like it seems like op is only focused on himself yet no step of the process gives any consideration to what she is thinking how she is reacting he's like i want to spend time with her he doesn't consider that maybe she doesn't want to spend six hours hiking a three-hour hike with a man that she's known for a few like a few weeks yeah. like it, i mean it would have been one thing if you two had legitimately gotten lost mm -hmm. right and you were really just trying to sort things out and you said i thought i knew these trails i guess we're lost i'm really sorry this is all my fault it would be one thing but you intentionally 
led her astray and like again she doesn't know what's going through your head she doesn't know what your intentions are there's no good reason to take someone on a six hour like an extra three hour detour like op before you go on more looking for women to date you really really need to work on your empathy and understanding how other people feel because it seems like you just like oh this woman is hot i want to get with her i have this weird convoluted plan to do it and i'm not going to consider that she might be uncomfortable with this like even at the end of the post you're like oh this is temporary no that is not temporary you betrayed her trust yeah this is a permanent thing that is going to be really really hard if not impossible to overcome and rightfully so yeah there are there needs to be consequences here i'm glad this group has cut you off you took advantage of it you seem to really only care about your own needs is a very selfish thing i think amber said it very well there's just a lot wrong here anyhow take care and grow up and then his phys descriptions of all her physical I know. attributes it's like we don't need this op it's not relevant to the story no one cares yeah well again i think he really needs like some kind of therapy to help him with like empathy and socializing with other people it's very clear that and like i am someone who has issues with social skills and like there are therapies you can do like speech and language therapy i had as a child to help me socialize and so if this is something you really want to do it may help to look into therapy the wagons of kim says you're the jerk goodness just the way you describe her she has a slim waist with perfectly round chest stop right there bro I would have felt totally creeped out and never probably would have, and I probably would have punched you in the throat. Never do this again. <laughs> and OP replies, I struggle to see the issue with that description. I mean, that's part of his issue right there. And KC Baby says, Info, <laughs> what in the world, friend? And OP replies, I'm not sure how to answer this question. Is this rhetorical? <laughs> And Beetle B eighty three eighty nine says you're the jerk. You're also disgusting. And Slap a Frap says you're the jerk. I don't think it's your career that has your social life in a poor state. I think it's the fact that you think this is okay might have something to do with it. You really did just open a new chapter of cringe creep. You possible kidnappings here on Reddit. All right, folks, it is tea time grab your beverages of choice we're going to need some nice refreshing tea after those stories <laughs> i have some tea right here and amber has a joke please amber have a have some levity i i've already forgotten which joke i had picked out <laughs> my brain is too scrambled okay if a boy snake marries a girl snake what might their towels say their towels will definitely not say, let me take you away on a, a six hour journey when it was only supposed to take three. It also probably won't say, hey, I'm going to enter your house while you're not around because reasons. Hiss and hers. <laughs> it probably will say hiss and hers. Yes, that would make sense. We need Bernard the Unhinged to save us. And I have a mega mint all right folks that's all the time we have for today thanks so much for watching happy friday oh my goodness it's friday amber you know what that means what it's the weekend yay almost the weekend i hope your week has gone well amber we need some kind of advice maybe some kind of moral guidance and please have it in the form of like one of those little signs, informational signs you might find on like a scenic trail or route. Warning, watch out for potential avalanches. Also, watch out for creepy people trying to kidnap you. <laughs> this trail is only supposed to take three hours. If it takes you more than that, then you're probably in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that would be trouble. I would be afraid if I saw that sign. <laughs> I'd be like, how many times does this happen that they have to make a sign for this? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.